Okay, so when you think of the best Little Big Planet game, what do you think of? You think of LBP2, LBP1 maybe? Sure, those games are alright, but compared to this game, it, this, this next game from the LBP franchise makes 1 and 2 look so bad that I would rather get COVID than play those games. Okay, they're good in their own right, but nowhere near as good as the best Little Big Planet game. The best LBP game is Run, Sack Boy, Run! Okay, everybody, this is the best LBP game that has ever been made. It has an Excellent create mode. Wait, what? It doesn't have a it doesn't have a create mode. Why not? Didn't it come out on PS Vita as well? But if it came on Vita, couldn't they have a create mode on the Vita version? Just have no create mode on the iOS version? That's stupid. Anyway, it also had amazing gameplay. You could jump and dash, and it was incredible. Over obstacles, so much variety in the gameplay. It wasn't even funny. Wait, what? The gameplay was... That was that, that's literally it? How can that be it? That's pathetic. Anyway, it also had several other amazing... Just the power-ups. There was a manga click bubbles for you. A... Glider click bubbles for you. And... Even... A jetpack. Which click the bubbles for you. Wait, aren't they just the same thing, just different? Moving on! Also, it had six amazing worlds of excellent music. Always the first one giving the rest of the music was shit. But other than that, it had six incredible levels and they were totally original. Wait, what? They were all stolen from the first two games? They were only, they were, what do you mean there were only three worlds? Oh, they copied them again, pasted them for the, the, sec the next three worlds? Just make three more worlds. What's wrong with them? Oh, this was a cash grab. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, but still, the costumes were incredible. You had hundreds of costumes to pick from. Only 11? Oh, God. Anyway, you had so many costumes. They were all so awesome and looked so well. The graphics. L Planet, Ruby Planet is quite an old series, and it's always had a problem with the graphics. However, this game has amazing graphics. You can compare it to anything else. Okay. Best graphics and best frame rate at 25 FPS. Okay, what else makes this game absolutely incredible? Well, the collectibles. My god, the collectibles in this game were amazing. You pick them up and you can use them to create your own levels, but there's no crate mode. What are the stickers for? Your sticker book. Wasn't it in Saber? Oh, that's where they're going from. What, the, the, that's it? You can't do anything with it? Isn't that kind of redundant? What's the point? That's shit. Anyway, this game is the best, okay? What else makes this game? Let's look at the music. My god, the first world had incredible music. The rest of the worlds had... Okay, the music was shit. But the first world had amazing, excellent music. Okay, DLC. This game received tens of thousands of updates, making this game the biggest expansive epic game ever. What? Are you telling me that there were no updates? You have like three worlds, why wouldn't you update that? Oh, it was a cash grab. I'm gonna just talk. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, this game was incredible. And if you disagree, if you disagree with its 44% rating, then I will personally get this deodorant. I'll spray it in your face, you disgusting pigs. You know that, you know. In your heart, that Run Sec Boy Run is the best LBP game. This is Nerdy N64 out from the middle of his kitchen. See you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe.